Today we're going to unbox and review this Hogue um, 62 millimeter lens hood for any kind of a camera with a 62 millimeter ring. Now, what I have here is a Canon Vixia R80, and you'll notice that I bought this 49 uh, millimeter lens hood that goes directly on the camera, screws into to the little slot, but and this has worked great. Don't get me wrong. This has worked great. You can find this on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash Mike's World. You can find this for the 43 or 49 centimeter or millimeter ring cameras. But with this Canon Vixia R80, the it doesn't really have a wide field of view. So I picked up this um, the Vixia wide angle lens, which, uh, which I'll show you. We'll just put it on here just one second so if I take this off and what I wanted was I, I wanted I, I like having a lens hood so what I decided was okay I want I need a lens hood that's going to fit on this wide angle adapter so this is the camera under normal circumstances and we just slide just screw this wide angle on I can get the threads to well part of it is I was trying to do it in my left hand and I'm right-handed so let me get this thread started I don't know why but these don't want to go on easily and obviously you don't want to strip the threads on your camera camcorder so there it is and I'm gonna have, I'll have to take this off but um, it's the wide-angle lens and so that's all great and all, except I really want a lens hood. So I want something that can pop on the end of here, block a little bit of sun, but I can still always have this um, available. The other thing is I lost the lens cover for my wide angle to slip on. So there you go. I need another lens hood for this. So um, like I said, I'll take this cover off of the strap eventually. So what I did was I picked up, because I needed a lens hood for that, I picked this one up off of Amazon and so we're gonna unbox it and see what's inside because this is the first time that I've really opened it up and I have not put it on the camera yet so you're seeing it for the first time too so we're gonna open this up it does come with a little um, instructional manual um, which I mean these these things are pretty self-explanatory so I don't think we need to it just shows, you know, how it can look on there. So we don't really need that. that. And it shows it for still photos, but this is supposed to work. This is supposed to be a 62 millimeter. Comes in a Ziploc bag. And the great thing about this, I haven't opened up, but I know from the description that this is metal. It's not plastic. So that's going to be um, another great benefit to this. So I open this up, and the first thing I notice is, you know what? That's, that's one there pretty good, that cap. So it's got a nice plastic cap, square cap. This is, it's not heavy, but boy, that's durable. That is sturdy metal right there. That is good, sturdy metal. And so what I'm curious though, is when I put this on the camera, we're gonna test out, I wanna make sure that when I'm full wide, that I'm not getting any vignette or I'm not picking up the edges of this lens hood. Cause I notice here, it's not completely round. We've got these square edges right here and to be honest with you i'm a little bit concerned about that i'm really concerned that that's not going to work well with my wide angle adapter so i'm going to test that out i think for any normal camera with a normal lens with a 62 millimeter ring this is probably going to be amazing so you screw it in you get lined up and then this ring slides you screw it backwards till it tightens up and you get it centered so we're going to try it out. Like I said, this is the first time I've been that I got it, decided to make a video so that you guys can see. So I really am not too I'm not too um confident that this is going to work. That's one pretty tight. Sorry, I didn't keep it centered in the shot there. it down and now lens hood on the wide angle on the Sony or I'm sorry on the Canon and you know what this is kind of driving me crazy having this uh, 
and then this on here. So I want to, I'm going to remove this lens hood cap for the other, the other lens hood. And so, you know, I, I'm curious to test this out to see if it's going to work. So this pops on right like this. I think it's right like that or do I have it upside down? It looks like it only goes one way. Uh, wow, you know what? There, that's angled. I wonder if I have that on straight. So it's not exactly the same on both sides. So if you notice, yeah, I guess it is. I guess it does angle on both sides. It just didn't look at when it was on the camera. So again, first time putting this on here, so you guys are seeing it same time as me. Don't want to break mess those threads up. There we go. Now it's going on the way it's supposed to. Okay, and then we're going to tighten this ring up. Make sure it's centered. Looks pretty good. Lens cap looks like pops on. I don't know. There, pops on. So I will say the wide angle and then you put this on lens hood on there and it adds a little bit of weight to the camera. It really does. But it also takes a standard video camera and makes it look a lot more professional, honestly. But the question is, does it work? That's the big question. So we're gonna pop the lens hood off, the cap. I'm gonna turn the camera on. And we're gonna see. Open the internal lens hood there we go and so here's what I noticed and this was my concern with the wide angle is that I don't know if you can see it but right along the edges here and right along the edges over here is I'm getting the corners and especially with the optical image stabilizer turned on as I move it you can probably see on the edges now if I zoom in a little bit no big deal not big, a big deal, but full wide, I'm noticing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my little quick settings and I'm going to make sure stabilizer is off. Oh, it actually is off. Let's go in the main settings. Um, let's go into recording setup, other settings, uh, main functions. And that's what we were just on. Let's go back, set up, recording setup, video quality, it's not under that. Other settings, here, it's under here. Okay, so it's hard to see this, but I'm gonna go to image stabilizer and I'm gonna change that to off. And so, cause what happens is when you have an image stabilizer, it will often zoom in because it, and see it, it actually made it worse so on each corner right here I'm picking up uh, the edges of the lens hood so it is not it's not exactly what I wanted uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get rid of it but truthfully once I've zoomed in to get rid of the edges and it's not wanting to focus of course there we go there we go. But what um, when I zoom in, I've kind of lost the whole purpose of having my wide angle. It's still wider than it was, but it's not it's not what I wanted. I really wanted to have a full wide wide angle without picking up the edges. So um, you know, a little bit disappointed. I think um, ultimately, let's turn this off. I think ultimately. This lens hood is perfect for any kind of a camera, uh, a regular camera with regular lens that has a um, 62 mm millimeter ring. Like I said, it, it makes it look more professional. And I think that you would enjoy it for that type of use, but it is clearly not going to work with my wide angle. So I'm a little bit disappointed. So 
Um, probably going to go ahead and remove the white angle and just go ahead and go back to this uh, Menon lens hood. So this one's uh, got this cap. It's pretty good. Uh, screws on, but it screws directly into the camera. And so um, I'll go ahead and keep this on here as a protective lens cover for the wide angle. And if I have to use the wide angle, I'm, I mean, I've already bought it, so I'm gonna leave it on there and I'll just, I'll zoom in if I have to. Um, yeah, but ultimately, lens hood doesn't really work with a wide angle, would work with a camera directly on the lens, um, probably a DSLR or something like that. Uh, that isn't wide angle, it probably worked for that. So there you go, that's the review of the Hogue uh, 62 millimeter metal uh, lens hood.